All right, everybody, so now I'm down here in the turtle lab. We just talked about um, sperm storage and the mother of these babies. I'm gonna turn this light. We have it dark in here just because we have a lot of forest dwelling species, so I like to keep it dark. But to show you um, the hatchlings, I want to put you, turn the light on so you can see them well. And so you can see Conixis homiana 00.3-1129. So these were laid yesterday, or hatched out yesterday. And there they are. Look how cute they are. These guys hatched out first, and that one was still in the egg yesterday afternoon, and overnight it has come out. So you can see the egg is open, and it's still kind of sitting there. You can even see it's still got some, looks like some of the uh, fluid from the egg is still on the shell there where the eggshell is attached to its shell. But these are little Conixi homiana babies, less than 48 hours old. And you can see these are just adorable little guys. He's got one that one little eye is kind of open there, and he's just like, leave me alone, let me rest. I'm just a baby. <laughs> so I want to show you the yolk sac. You can see on this one is pretty well absorbed, and then on this individual you still got a pretty decent sized yolk sac there. Um, this one likely, this was over the weekend, so the other one might have hatched out before, but they have different sized yolks, and also they can sit in the egg and not hatch out for a while, just kind of sitting there absorbing that egg yolk. Um, and so that yolk, right, when they're babies like this, they're just going to hide. They're going to hide. Everything can eat them, so it's best if they lay low, sit still, for a while, do the least amount of movement as possible because movement's gonna make them easier to detect. And that yolk is gonna give them nutrition for the first couple of weeks of their life. And so they don't have to eat for the first couple of weeks and they just kinda of lay low, get their strength, kinda of get their bearings, if you will, before they start heading out and looking for stuff. And also it allows them to maybe pick at things close by them, test things out, what's food, what's not, while they can still get nourishment so they don't starve to death really quick when they come out of the, out of the egg. So they can live off of that for several weeks before they really need to start eating. And that gives them time to kind of get used to just being out in the world. So we've got three here. So sperm storage, you know, if conditions weren't good and she couldn't breed that year, sperm storage allows females to still reproduce the following year, or even maybe two years or three years after. It can last that long. Typically, though, the longer the sperm is stored, uh, the less viable it becomes, the less um, hatching success, less lower fertilization rate, the less hatching success you have in the eggs. But I mean, this was, she hadn't been with a male in over a year, and there were three eggs, and all three of them hatched. So that's pretty darn good. Um, she's done a pretty good job with that storm, uh, sperm storage. But I mean, last year she had it, and these were laid back in June. So it was only stored maybe eight, nine months. So not too bad but still pretty good quality. And all these guys look healthy. Now, of course, when they're young, those of you who have eggs, things hatch out, who knows? It takes a few months to really figure out which ones have good metabolism, which ones have that ability to survive. These all look good, and they're all very cute. I'm not gonna mess with that one because he's, he's just coming out. These guys have been in there, and you can see we put them in sphagnum moss. It's very soft, it gives them cover, and it stays moist and keeps that humidity up. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video and getting to see this cute, adorable little Conixie homiana and just kind of a, a basic setup. We put them in uh, after they hatch out. We just leave them in this for several weeks before we start offering food and giving them water and things like that. All right, y'all have a good one.